Hi, it's Dr. Chris Ramsey. Um, just wondering if you got a chance to look at the latest test results on DL-56. Yeah, yeah, they are promising, but uh, there's a ways to go. That's actually why I'm calling. Uh, I, I'd like to uh, turn over the project to your guys so I can just concentrate on being a doctor. Yeah, no, it, well, it's been hectic around here. No, no, I realize if, if you buy me out now, I'll get a smaller royalty on the final drug, but, uh, well, money isn't the reason I got into medicine in the first place. No, no, exactly. I mean, you know, if DL-56 turns out to be all we hoped for, even the smallest percentage will make me a very rich man. When can we get together to uh, discuss a buyout? Oh, uh, tomorrow at 5 would be perfect. Yeah. No, great. Great, I'll see you then. Thank you. <sighs> so long, Frank. You're on your own. What are you doing? I wanted the prize in the box, but I didn't want to eat all the cereal. What does it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're trying to find some DL-56 you hid. You already found it, didn't you? No. Oh, no, I bet you got all self-righteous one day and searched the whole house I off looked, the bottom. but I didn't find anything. Oh, I know I put some here somewhere. I need help. Please, go to Joe and Karen, Frank. Oh, yeah, and let those two ghouls strap me down in some junkie ward again so they can get their jollies, watch me suffer. Don't, Frank. It was hard enough for me losing my mother. I don't want to lose you, too. Then help me find it. Help you find what? You have a real knack for sneaking into a room. Sorry, but I need to get Neil some water. Neil's here? Didn't Joe tell you? Obviously not. Neil's cancer is in remission. Well, that's great. Whoa. Congratulations. Thank you. They released Neil from the hospital and... Joe invited him to move in here. What is this, Motel 6? Here it is, Neil. Home sweet home. This place is awesome. Yeah, I'd like to see your bedroom. It's incredible. Can I? You want to see it? Come on. Okay. brother is such a sweetheart. I didn't realize you had your hooks in him so deep. Oh, come on, Frankie. Play nice after all we're roommates. playroom when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. And I used to have posters of Harrison Ford, you know, from Raiders of the Lost Ark. I used to have them tacked all over the walls. Is that a good movie? Neil, you're kidding me. You've never seen Raiders of the Lost Ark. My mom says it's too violent for me. Well, then I say we have some serious videotape watching to do. Hey. Hey. Hey, Mom. Got a computer. Oh, wow. Joe, are you sure you don't need that? Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's my old one. It's all yours, buddy. Well, thank you. That's very generous. It's not a big deal. Hey, go try out the bed. Go ahead. So? No, no, get, move. This is how you try out a bed, Neil. Watch. <laughs> go ahead, you try. Come here. Ready? One, two. <laughs> and I thought you would be a good influence. I'm just trying to teach him the basics of being a kid. That's all right. Yeah. Listen, you need anything, anything at all, you let me know, okay? Okay. All right, buddy. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Mom. Yeah? I really like Dr. Jill. Yeah. Yeah. So do I. Hey, 
have seen the look on Neil's face when I showed him his room. You should have seen the look on my face when I found out we have another boarder. I didn't think you'd mind. He's just a kid. What I mind is you being played for a sucker by that freeloading opportunist up there. Hank, look, we've been through this a million times. I told you that Courtney and I are just friends. That's it. She dumped you when she thought that you were a blue-collar grease monkey with too much hair on your head. And now all of a sudden she's come back and she sees an up-and-coming doctor with the prospect of a six-figure income. And before you can say, two-faced gold digger, she has herself and her kid moved in here. Now, Joe, wise up! You know what? You have no right to complain to me about a little boy that's in remission who needs a roof over his head. Oh, oh that, that's right. Forgive me, what, what was I thinking? I've got the second coming of Mother Teresa for a brother. So, tell me, Father Joe, what does Karen think about your ex-girlfriend and her kid moving in with you? I'll tell you what she thinks. She thinks this Yankee poster is going to look really cool in Neil's room. Look like that. Isn't that great? Oh, I love this. Did you get me one? No. Well, you should have. <laughs> Joe? Yeah. Hi, uh, can you come up here and help me close this window? I'm afraid it's too drafty for Neil. Yeah, I'll be right out. <laughs> See that? It's happening already. Oh, come on, Frank. Courtney's just spent the last two years with a very sick child. I think she has a right to be overprotective. Yeah. It's not her concern for Neil, I question. But when it comes to Joe, I wouldn't trust her as far as I could throw her. I didn't dance a jig when Courtney moved in here. But the truth is, I trust Joe. And the fact that he would take in Neil when his father turned his back on him makes me love him all the more. Fine. Let's just see if you're still doing cartwheels over Joe's generosity three months down the oh, line. Frank, come on. Frank! There you go. I'll do it. Thanks. You're welcome. See you later, buddy. Yeah. So, you like your room? I love it. Good. It's really nice of Joe to let us stay with him, huh? I wish there was something nice I could do for him, too. Well, you know what? Let me think. Maybe there is. What? Well, I remember Joe used to be crazy about baseball. He said he had this huge trading card collection when he was a kid. Did he collect basketball cards, too? I love basketball. Well, I really think he was only interested in baseball, honey. But I bet he would be tickled pink to show you his cards. Cool. Yeah. Only, um, don't tell him I told you to ask. Why not? Um, it just won't mean as much coming from me as it will coming from you, okay? Okay. What are you doing here? I came to see you. Well, mission accomplished. Watch it. I came to apologize. I'm sorry. Things got a little out of control the other day. Hey, you call knocking me unconscious with a lamp a little out of control? You went psycho, pal. Okay? I could have ended up in a coma. I feel terrible about it. I'm not terrible enough. You have to understand, I've been going nuts because of Julie's trial. Yeah, I didn't do anything to Julie. I mean, I am worried about her, and when I heard your alibi, for Devlin's murder that you and Eve hey, have. Eve and I were together, okay? That alibi is completely legitimate. I don't care what that airhead Lucy Co. thinks she heard. I'm not saying it. I believe that now. I'm just trying to tell you what my state of mind was then because I... I don't want my actions to have a permanent effect on our relationship. You know, as entertaining as it is watching you grovel, I've got work to do, so let me get right to the point. I've seen enough strung-out junkies in my time to know that you're about, do 48 hours into some serious serious withdrawal and you would do or say anything to get your hands on your precious DL-56 you need me Ramsey you need me for your hey, research I've already I got all the data I need at least give me a copy of the formula <laughs> so you can go sell it to another drug company I don't think so I need help go to hell oh, oh you want to go again huh oh let's please another round because I'll have security all over you and as bad as you feel now, it'll be worse sitting in a jail cell. You know, you look terrible, Frank. 
Let me give you a little professional advice. Take two aspirin and don't call me in the morning. In fact, don't call me ever. Karen, thank you again for everything you've done for Neil and me. Well, I haven't done anything. I mean, it's, uh, it's Joe's place. Yeah, still. Not many people would be so understanding about having a woman live in the same house with her fiancé. Particularly an ex-girlfriend. That's why I want you to know I'm uh, working on the situation. What you got there? Real estate section. I'm looking for a new place for Neil and me. That's great. I can help you figure out which neighborhoods are good around town. Thanks. Uh, all right. Now, see this little box right here? Mm -hmm. This is called a word search box. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick a topic and you put it in there, and it'll tell you how many sites there are on the web. Michael Jordan. Okay, type it in. M I. -C can I hit return? Now give it a few minutes and it'll come up with all the references. Okay. Was this your computer when you were a kid? <laughs> Are you kidding me? We didn't have computers like this when I was a kid. Really? Uh, really. In fact, I was in junior high before I even got a typewriter. And we didn't have any VCRs or any CDs. How did you tape your shows? We did it. <laughs> that stinks. Yeah, tell me about it. You had it rough. Yeah, well, that's why they call it the Dark Ages, Neil. All right, here. See? Here's all the matches that I found. Okay. There are thousands of them. Uh, looks like that Michael Jordan's a popular guy. He's my favorite. Did you have a favorite basketball player when you were a kid? Um, no. No, I wasn't into basketball. I was into baseball. The New York Yankees. The year that I turned seven, they won the pennant. And I was hooked ever since. Reggie Jackson was my man. Do you have a picture of them? I have about a dozen in my card collection. Can I see one? You really want to see it? Yeah. Oh, go get it. Um, here, play with the computer and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, hi. Hi. I didn't expect to see you here. Look, I was really sorry to hear about your mom. If there's anything I can do, just... No. Me... There's not. Is Neil settled in? Yeah. I'm just gonna make some fruit smoothies. You want one? Sure. Great. I haven't seen you around here much lately. Oh, well, you know, with Jake gone and Julie preparing for her trial, everyone's been pulling extra shifts at the hospital. Yeah, and spending time on research. Oh, no, I'm not doing that anymore. I quit. After seeing the effects of DL-56 on Frank, I decided it was too dangerous. So what happened to the data you collected? Lark, why are you asking me about this? Is Frank in trouble? I was just curious to see if you made any progress is all I mean. I mean, you used to really like discussing your research. What are you researching? Was researching with Jake Marshak. Uh, we were working on a drug to regenerate nerve cells. Wow, that sounds amazing. It had terrible side effects. So can it be perfected? No. So maybe you should destroy your notes. Destroy them? You said there were horrible side effects and you wouldn't want the wrong person getting their hands on the formula of DL-56. DL-56? Yeah, DL-56 is the name of the drug. Um, you know what? I think that's a great idea. That's excellent. I'm gonna do that. I'll take care of it. I, I gotta get to GH. Yeah, I'll walk out with you and get the girl. Frank, what are you doing? I'm looking for the DL-56 formula. I know I hid it here somewhere. Oh, my God. I know that look. You're already using urine withdrawal. You went back to DL-56 after everything we went through? I never stopped. But you were in the chem where Joe and Karen had you under observation. I needed it, Lark. I had ways of getting it. You've been on DL-56 this whole time? You've been lying to us? I have been keeping myself alive. Now move, I need the formula. 
You can't. I destroyed it. You have no idea what you have done to me. I was trying to help you. By, by, by what? By killing me? Frank, I thought you were off TL 56. How could I know you were still on it? I thought I'd see you again. I need your help. Yeah, well, in case you didn't notice, I'm in jail. I need to get some DL-56. Do you have any left over from the last batch? No. I was carrying all I had when they busted me. Can I get your copy of the formula? Sorry. I had a buddy torch anything that looked incriminating in my place. Do you remember how to make it? Hey, listen, I'm not Mr. Wizard, okay? That was a complicated recipe. Besides, you kept telling me I couldn't make any money off it, so I had no incentive to memorize it. Oh, damn it. You're pretty strung out. Oh, you think? Yeah, well, it's too bad we uh, lost the recipe, because judging by the way you're messed up, I'd say there's a hell of a lot of drug companies out there that would love to get their hands on a drug with that kind of punch. <sighs> oh, why didn't I think of that? Jackson. Mom, he's Mr. October. Oh. Can we go to baseball games sometime? Yeah. I don't see why not. You can count on it, buddy. Hey, you know what? You are in luck because nothing goes with baseball games like hot dogs. And that's what I'm making. You want to help me? Yeah. Okay, grab the special secret sauce. You know, this recipe for making hot dogs has been handed down from my great, great, great great-grandfather, Hawkeye Wexler, from the Mescalero Apache. Apaches don't eat hot dogs. <laughs> Shh. <That's a> secret. <laughs> She's so great with kids. So are you. She's going to make a great mother someday, don't you think? I'm going to go wash up. Okay. Chris, you know something, I'm going to have to make a note that withdrawal from DL-56 makes its test subjects both stupid and hard of hearing. We have nothing to discuss. I've been doing some thinking. Oh, there's a first. If you don't need me anymore, it's because you've already struck a deal with Lance Pharmaceuticals. Frank, there is no deal. DL-56 is never going anywhere. You're walking proof it can't be salvaged. Oh, come on, Chris. That noble act doesn't sell. I could have killed my grandmother when I was on this drug, and it wouldn't have stopped you from trying to make a buck on it. I got work to do. You, you know, you know what word companies like Lance hate more than any others? Lawsuit. Now, you, you think your deal will hold if I hit them with charges of reckless disregard for human safety? You couldn't make a case against Lance. I won't have to. Just the threat of legal action will kill your deal. You're bluffing. <laughs> you tell and everyone will know you're hooked on DL-56. Look at me, Chris. I'm desperate. I've run out of choices. What have I got to lose? Besides, I'm sure that Lance will supply me with DL-56 just to keep my mouth shut. Okay. Okay. I want a two-week supply and a copy of the formula. No formula. No way. I'll give you 10 cc's a day, nothing more, and I administer the drug myself. I don't want you over-medicating and going wacko again. How will I know that you won't water it down? How do I know that you won't kill the deal with Lance? So we have to trust each other.
test subjects became aggressive. Sunday, she's the trendiest lawyer on television, and she's coming to ABC. Don't miss Allie McBeal on The Practice ABC Sunday. Will Frank's secret be exposed? Take a peek at tomorrow's Fort Charles at ABC.com.